It's season one and the board down at Southampton have come knocking. It's January, just days before the transfer window shuts. And here we are, finding Southampton lying in 11th with nothing to hope for, out of both cups. And they need to get themselves further forward towards European competition. See we can he see here, we've got a minus four goal difference and only a couple of points off West Ham who are in 14th. That's not on. We've got to look forward and get ourselves towards Wolves there on 39 points and meet the rest of the big boys if we want any Europe next year. Adam Armstrong and James Ward Prowse are the only two that can be proud of themselves so far. The rest of them need to look at the mirror and have a little word with themselves, join the party and make some goal contributions. But who's this? It's only Chose Font coming back down to the south coast to rescue Southampton. 260 appearances across 8 years means he's the right man for the job. This is how we find the team as the Southampton 11 find themselves in mid-table. We'll have Adam Armstrong who's absolutely broken from carrying the full weight of the team on his back. We'll have Livermento subbing in for Walker Peters at the moment. The AI have done us a little bit of a favour. They've signed Martinelli from Arsenal and that'll do a little bit of a hand going forwards. There's some pace in there, there's a little bit of promise and all they need is the right nurturing hands to guide them towards European competition next year. Here's the state of the youth team at the minute, there's not a lot to shout and scream about. We've got Julian Peña from Argentina who looks the best of a bad bunch. All four of them look way off our subs bench right now. We've got to get the scouts out and about and see what's out there. Quick little plug first though, if you are enjoying what you see so far in the video, don't forget to have a look at the rest of the channel here, your average FIFA guys channel, we're trying to grow it bit by bit, and if you can drop a like on the video, which won't cost you anything, I'll be massively appreciative, it'll help me pump out better content and more content for you as we go forward. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this, we can see we've got a creator club going, and there's a few episodes already dropped. Um, we'll have a fix to glory mode starting as well. So there's a lot of check out from the channel and I'd love for you to be a part of it. But hold on, look what's just dropped on my desk. We've been going through the financials and we can see that about a dozen players contracts are about to go to waste in the summer. We've got to do something about this straight away. Some of the younger guys that aren't looking too hot we're not going to worry about because we want to bring in some new blood from the Southampton Academy just as they would in real life. But with the likes of Theo Walcott and Oriol Romeo maybe not being used in the distant future, we can still cash in in the summer hopefully and make 15 to 20 million straight away. So we'll be updating their contracts firstly. And then we've got Jan Valery who we want to keep. He's promising. He's only 22 years of age and he's decent at right back straight away. And then Nathan Redmond, one of the quickest and most talented players in the squad is about to just leave on free in the summer. So we've got to get these guys' contracts updated. It will take some money off our transfer budget, but it's what has to be done first. So we signed Noah Catterback for three and a quarter million, and I think that's good business. He's going to be a decent second string option at left back, and we're definitely happy with that. We haven't got a lot of money after the contracts have been sorted out, but it's a decent start. Emilio Fernandez is the next man in. He's a young, feisty, quick defensive midfielder. We'll get him for just over 7 million and we'll get shot of Alex McCarthy as well. Then Lucas Gruner becomes our third signing. He's only 18 and we're thinking for the long term if we're going to ship off Oriol Romeo maybe, then he's going to be one for the future. Another defensive midfielder in the ranks. So Nico Malamed is going to be our fourth and final signing. He comes from Espanyol in Spain and we've had to drop 12 and a half million to acquire his services. He's young, he's quick, he's skillful and he's definitely one for the future going forward. But we we'll hope to see a big impact from him in the second half of the season. We're going to get into the games now and the crack is that we're going to see some quick highlights from most of them and an extended highlight game at the end. Don't forget, if you do enjoy this content coming up from the video, hit that like button and let's grow the channel together. Let's get into it. So first game of the season then for Jose Font and it's only a trip to the big smoke to face Tottenham Hotspur away from home. Baptism by fire here and look at the stands, they're absolutely packed. Southampton have got the work cut out here for sure. Straight away though, Nathan Redmond comes away with it. Armstrong takes a couple of touches and sprays it out from Martinelli. Beautiful lobbed through ball and here comes Nathan Redmond sprinting forwards, takes a touch and absolutely blares it home for 1-0. 
that's absolutely brilliant to see for the manager because there's loads of pace going forward on the wings and in the striker positions as well and the fans are absolutely loving it nothing that the Coulouris could do for that it's a fantastic little ball over from Martinelli we'll take that side in from Arsenal and Redmond's touch was lovely the strike was even better Tottenham have an absolutely none of it though as they come forward looking to make the equaliser Harry Kane looking for Angel Correa and he shows why he's an excellent signer for them. Beautiful skills here on the right wing from Korea. A couple of ball rollovers and lays it off a cane and he should have done better. Good save though. Next up, Tottenham come forwards and Korea, you can just smell he's gonna be an absolute menace for us all game. Great pace again on that right wing. He absolutely does us there. Cuts back a little bit for Kane, who shot saved well. And Tottenham have really got the bit between the teeth here. Another Tottenham attack with Korea. Absolutely does us here with the skills. Lovely little pirouette there, some ball rollovers, and it's blocked in the end. Satan's come away with it though, and here comes Martinelli with a huge lob through ball for Adam Armstrong. It could be 2 0 here. Takes a couple of touches, but he bottles the strike. He wanted it on his right foot, and he waited too long. Great chance that for the Saints second half and Hyungmin Song has it here. We know what he's about and we've got to be careful. Walker Peters is too lax though and Hyungmin Song absolutely smashes it home to make it 1-1. Nothing to do about that. With the minutes dying on, a little bit of a sus tackle on Wiggs. We're not going to worry about that because here comes Nico Malamed. Counter top on the Saints here. It's a beautiful ball from Armstrong. Nodded on by the new boy and here comes Nathan Redmond who sees a shot brilliantly saved corner then in the dying minutes. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's only Jan Bednarek though to make a 2-1 away from home. He can't believe it, we can't believe it, but we don't care. Everyone's going absolutely wild. Here come the subs. Font's not far behind and the fans are going absolutely potty. Limbs everywhere in the way and Spurs can't believe what's happened. They've dominated but, but, Hon but Jose Font will take that for sure. Three points in the bag. And let's move on to the next game. One tough fixture followed by another here as we'll go to Old Trafford in the second game of our managerial tenure. It's going to be a tough one. We've got a full strength team out. Bruno and Cristiano there leading the way for Manchester United. And Rashford making a nuisance of himself straight away. Clipped into Ronaldo. He makes no mistake and we're one down after just 10 minutes. Baptism by fire at Old Trafford here. And Jose Font thinking what have I got myself into. We move back into the game though, we want to fight back and it's a nice quick passing move. We've got Martinelli coming through here, his ball fed and then we've got a little touch from Armstrong slapped home by the new boy Melamed and that's a fantastic finish from him. It's one apiece in its game on Old Trafford. Maybe, just maybe we can get something out of this after all. It was a lovely move and the ball into Melamed was first class. He makes no hesitation. And have a look at that, slapped into the back of the net. Joe is absolutely delighted with that. Manchester United fighting back though. Well cleared in the end through Bednarek and Southampton start a counter-attack and move. They've got the bit between the teeth now. Nice quick pass in there, one touch football, the ball threaded forwards. The cross is on, deep cross, takes a touch from Martinelli but it's hit against David De Gea. Good save. Oriol Romeo starts another move for Southampton and it's another big lobbed through ball. Forward to Armstrong, chance to make a 2-1 at half time. Wonderful save for the Manchester United goalkeeper. Into the second half now, challenges raining down. No cards of course though, because of Adol Trafford, don't forget. Manchester United with some attack and impotence now. And Rashford threw on goal, some beautiful nutmeg and a fantastic save produced from Edgar Padilla. Southampton looked to play it forward then. Wonderful through ball for the new boy Malamed. Can he get his brace? His second of the game does so well until the finish slaps it wide. He knows he should have done better there. Manchester United with some nice neat passing on the edge of the area. Two Portuguese players combine. Pogba looks at Fernandez. Ronaldo with a bit of space looks up. His shot drills into the far corner. It's 2 1 Manchester United. And there's a chance to make it 3-1 here as Sancho flies down the right wing. Little ball inside. 
Fantastic save again from Badia. What a signing he is. Thanks, AI. But in the dying seconds, through ball for Larson, and he just hasn't got the legs. The score stays at 2 1. Southampton versus Everton, our first home game of the season down in St Mary's. Excuse the camera angles have been faffing around with the settings, but we should have been watching with defence as that ball crashes against the post. It comes out of who? It comes out of Iwobi, who gets a little look at it, and then falls to Richardson, who volleys at home. Absolutely superb finish. Fair play to have got to respect that. I find ourselves 1 0 down for the second game running, and we've got to get back into things. This time Adam Armstrong collects the ball, lovely little interchange with Martinelli who cuts it back inside, Adam Armstrong, decent finesse shot, saved by Begovic well. Later in the game with Charleston showing off his great skills there, he actually does more with Peters, he hangs the ball up with a cross and it's a wonderful reaction saved by Badia. Where did we get this lad from? It's absolutely golden. But Charleston later in the game has another crack but this time it's cut out by Bednarek and Southampton spring forward on the counter-attack. Malama does well inside, and Adam Armstrong sees a wonderful opportunity on the left-hand side. Inside cuts Nathan Redmond, through on goal. He's got energy in the tank. Is he going to go all the way? Nope. There's Martinelli for the tap-in. We're absolutely taking a level of the game at 1-1, and now Southampton spell, smell blood. Ward Prowse forwards, and there's a little bit of space on the right-hand side. This time for Malama again. Lovely little dinged cross. Over the pass goes, and it's a lovely tap in for Larson. We don't mind two little tap ins, but we've gone from 1 0 down to 2 1 up, and we're absolutely bouncing at St. Mary's. If we have a look at the replay, it looks a little bit sus. It's a beautiful little dinked ball over, but that might have been offside. We don't care though. Three points in the bag for us, it's looking like, and the crowd are absolutely elated. 2 1 it is. Second home game in a room for us, and we're entertaining Norwich this time at St Mary's. The weather's absolutely disgusting. It's lashing it down, but we've still got a job to do as we try and climb the Premiership table. Bright start for us as Larson comes inside. His shot brilliantly saved by Tim Krul. It looked destined for the goal, and Larson can't believe it. Hooked in on that left-hand side, he absolutely cannons at a goal, but it's a big right hand from Tim Krul there. Nathan Redmond puts through Larson again and we're starting the game so well. It's a chance to make it 1-0 and this time he smashes it off the post. Desperately unlucky from him. Norwich comes away with it with Lise Malou and Martinelli runs across. Lise Malou turns. It's a dangerous tackle from Gabriel Martinelli and he earns himself an early bath for silly sausage. This time we've got Ward Prowse coming forwards, lovely ball into Larson, and this time he scores to make it 1-0 champion. But look, it's offside, says the linesman. Nothing's going for it. Is it going to end up a 0-0 at the day? Romeo doesn't want it to though. Who hooks the ball on the left-hand side and finds Redmond, who's got a bit of pace about him still, and good strength to hold off Max Ahrens. Lovely ball inside for Larson. And then Romeo finds Ward Prowse, who drills it at goal, and is brilliantly saved by Tim Krul again. It's not going to happen for us today, is it? Little chance for Norwich here as Pookie smash it off the post. It's a let off for us with just five minutes left. Things getting a little bit desperate now. Romeo hooks it forward to then over the top of Max Ahrens. Redmond does brilliantly. He comes inside. Is he going to go all the way? He cuts back a little bit and wins the corner. Short corner now, Redmond again. Anything will do, we'll look for the penalty there, I'm not even going to lie from Redmond. He has a little shot from the edge of the box, blocked, and then one from the team there for Malamed. Everyone's recycling possession well, hooked out on left hand side for another goal. And there's some quick direct passing here, beautiful play as they get used to front system. Ball in from Ward Prowse, it's Larson, faints, shot cancels, and smashes it into the top corner. What scenes we've got here on the south coast at St Mary's. Everyone's piling in on the celebrations. The staff, the subs, the players were all the way on the town the night and Martinelli's getting the rounds in first time. Wonderful quick play. It's a fantastic piece of work from Lawson and he buries it into the top corner. Thank you very much. Full time. 1-0. Three points. Let's go. Front there with a few words for the manager, and all we're missing is a console and a little pat on the cheek. 
just like Jose Mourinho might have done, but he absolutely loves it. Look at him, 1 0. Southampton juggernaut rolls into the Midlands today as we face Villa away from home in the Premier League and it's probably going to be a tough game. Villa pretty well organised, let's get into it. Larson making his place instead of Mane uh, Martinelli who's suspended. Lovely ball through to Redmond on his left foot, buries it. What a great start for the Saints that is. We're absolutely delighted with that. Lovely free-flowing attack and football from Southampton. And Villa looking to get one back through Ollie Watkins. Good pace from him. But across comes Jan Bedernek. Strong as an ox. And away we're coming. 1 0 the score. And Villa with a chance to make it 1 1 now. Deep cross. And it's a bullet header from Danny Ings. Somehow saved from Medea. Full credit to the goalkeeper again. Villa with another hooped ball over. And this time it comes out to Sanson. And a fantastic save for the goalkeeper again. Wonderful scenes from the Southampton man in the sticks. Southampton have read the corner well there and there's a chance to come away on the counter attack. And we've got a couple of runners there. Nathan Redmond coming across the right hand side. This run scene is timed beautifully. Cross comes the defender but Redmond wins it. Tenacious play from him. A little petulant kick out from the defender but we'll play on. Ward Prowse finds Romeo, slips it in for Armstrong, we just quite can't get there. Excellent promise though, lovely football from Southampton. This time Armstrong comes away, has the shot, cannons off the post, second chance, scores it's 2-0. And fantastic play from the Saints, lovely football, everything coming together, font style. We're loving what we're seeing here. Can we get a third as the game comes to an end? Redmond chips it over, Armstrong chips it over. And it's Larson who creams it just wide. It would have been a glorious little goal there. Right on the half volley, unlucky. Great play. More attacking scenes. Lock ball over. Villa can't cope with our pace. It's Armstrong sets himself. And it's a filthy little dink into the goal for 3-0. We get the three points convincingly. And what a fantastic performance that is away from home. Armstrong could have just buried it, couldn't he? But no, he goes for the flare finish. Our main striker just showing what he's made of in full effect. Heads on, sets himself, and he just has enough height with that little dink there. Keeper takes out his own man trying to clear the ball. You couldn't make it up. Three points for us. Fantastic display. And just as things are going really well, we get this piece of news. Adam Armstrong then out for two months with a dislocated shoulder. And that's a massive blow for us. Larson's going to have to step up and be the main man up front and know he's got it in him. Let's see how we get on in the next game. We're at two against Burnley and we don't have Adam Armstrong here. Straight away Burnley get a chance for a little give and go here. Ito with an absolute screamer straight past Padilla and usually our goalkeeper's up to heroics but not for that. What a great finish and what a good start for the home side there. Let's check this one out of the replay. We can see on the replay then, ball comes out, Ido with a little one, two there, there you are, and bash, absolutely stupendous finish. And our keeper hasn't got a prayer. Wonderful curling, raking shot for one nil. You've got to respect that. And we find ourselves one nil down again. Can we come back and get into the game? Patient passing here. Romeo looks for Larson, a little give and go of our own. There's 1-1, one, one. happy day. And we mirror the Burnley attack beautifully there. Drilled in to level the game and it's game on. Not sure about the celebration though, think you're on your own there, Jordan lad. Redmond looks up and it's a huge raked ball out wide. Touch, chipped over, wonderful play. Larson couldn't get a second good save from Pope. That would have been a sensational goal from the Saints. Redmond then looks to the right hand side again, getting some joy there. Malamud waits to cross, and there's Martinelli back from suspension to make it 2 1. Again, we'll go from 1 0 down to 2 1 up, and wonderful forward play from Southampton. Not missing Adam Armstrong just yet, we see. Wonderful stuff from Malamud on the right hand side, waits to time his cross, and we'll grub it in, but we don't care. 
2 1 to us. Again, we'll look at that right hand side. We're getting a lot of joy there. It's Malamud once more. He dinks the ball over, and the header just goes wide. Poor from Lawson. You could have had a hat trick in the game so far. Lovely little ball, and you could have done a lot better with that head there. Straight in for him. 10 minutes left to go as we look to get a third, and it's a filthy challenge from Josh Brownhill there. Referees having absolutely none of it. And we're not at Old Trafford anymore, we'll get a red card, and we can see the rest of the game out now against 10 men. Happy day. Poor challenge that, he just sides them across. Sean Dyche is furious. Back in his day, it wouldn't even be foul with it. Into injury time then, we're seeing the game out nicely. Burnley running out of options. Here's Matty Taylor though. Westwood just chips it on the left hand side. Little chance for Barnes, dinks it over. But the referee blows up. It's a penalty what's happened there. I think Walker Peters has taken his man. Let's check it out in the replay. We've got absolutely no time left. It's going to be three points down the pan. Walker Peters misses the tackle and just completely takes out his man. Font can't believe it. What a waste with no time left on the clock. It's going to be Ashley Barnes and it's saved. He's absolutely bottled the penalty. Barnes can't believe it and it's Badia who saves our bacon there. Side foots it and it's nowhere near the corner. Cheers Ash. So here we go then, there's the Premiership table as things stand and we're in a decent position, a decent run of games recently with some wins has got us in 7th there on 51 points. It's looking quite tight in the top 8 at the moment. We uh, we have 5 points off Spurs who have a game in hand on with so if they win it'll be Arsenal above us and we're 6 points off them with a game in hand. We've got 7 matches left, I'd like us to be getting into the, UA, uh, to the Europa League minimum. It's going to be really tight though, there's a lot of competition for places and we've got some tough fixtures coming up, let's check them out. So here are the 7 remaining fixtures then, and there's some real tricky ones, we'll have Chelsea at home, followed straight away by Arsenal at home, who are just above us in the league and both those are going to be very very difficult slogs for us there. We also there have to go to Brighton away, which is never easy, Crystal Palace at home and then in May after a trip to Brentford, we'll have to finish the season to Liverpool at home and then a final trip to Leicester, which is going to be really hard work, very competitive games there, finishing out the season, especially with Leicester just below us in the league. They're going to be fighting for the same thing that we want in that European football, certainly in the way for League Europe League rather or better, and that's the state of play. We're going to end the video there. Of course, if you have enjoyed the content, please drop a like on the video. It's going to help the channel massively. I massively appreciate your view of the video. Uh, but if you could just drop that like on the video, subscribe if you've enjoyed this and you want to see a little bit more. There will be more coming in the Southampton series. The next episode, obviously, it's going to close out the season and hopefully we'll be ending up in a great place. But now, massive, massive thank you for you, the viewer, and we'll see you next time. I've been your average FIFA guy. And for now, I'll see you later.